Good morning, everyone. I'm just here with a fresh cup of coffee from Quail Tits. Get motivated on this here street rider, track rider. I gotta start calling it a track rider now because it's no more, it will not be streetable when this thing is done, that is for sure. As soon as I get fired up on this rich Colombian blend from Quail Tits, it's not very good coffee, but it's affordable. It's not my first choice, but it's affordable. Quail Tits. What are you doing? Uh, build, I tore all the electrical out down here, the BCM and all that shit, and I'm moving it up where the monoshock used to be, so I'm just drawing out a bracket right now. Uh, something fancy. Hold it in place, because it fits right perfectly in the box. I'll show you in a second. Let me get some nice reference points to play around with. make it out of a piece of aluminum like eighth inch thick aluminum or something like that maybe three sixteenths put some bins in it so it puts pressure on it have a little tab at the bottom mostly Brandon's idea over there he's floating around intern in today intern and ideas and turning ideas into different things this looks like a uterus <laughs> Or a flux capacitor. I'm building a future flux capacitor right now. You know what I'm talking about, Marty? It fits right there nice and nice. Have it bolt here over the top and then come down and tab right here. But I'm going to put little bends in it so it's got pressure the whole time. Done. And then I took out this wad of shit right here. Uh, Add it to the box. Yeah. So come over to the box. This is the old charcoal canister for the emissions. This thing's probably like Eh, five pounds, five pounds of shit, ounces, some emission lines, some emission fittings. I'm going to cap that off on the throttle body right here. This is, instead of an EVAP off of this guy, they run it right off the throttle body now. So I'm going to plug that bitch off and be emissions free, you know, looking out for things right now. A little circle paper. This is from junior high art class. This way I can just make a little outside perimeter for this guy. Make it look fancy because I can't draw that straight. And then I have these points to draw lines off of. So like I could just go right off of here and have a circle down here and then just cut around these and I already have something to follow. It's really going to look like a uterus here in a minute. Put the markers on dead. That's pretty close. <laughs> the fallopians. The tubely doos here. <laughs> You should end up with flopionitis or something. Back up. It's just saving batteries. There it is. The uh, Cruzy Originals uh, <laughs> uterus brace. I need to make this like an inch longer. I almost f***ed up. If I would have cut that right there, I wouldn't have had no tab to bend. All right. To uterus. All right, that's it. Remember, you know, Cruise Originals, cruiseoriginals.com, and uh, Cruise Originals on Instagram. We build uteruses and shit. Yeah, put a fucking dent right in her. Fucking. All right, well, you get the idea. Uh, I gotta put some stick on like battery foam underneath this thing to kind of give it a little pressure. And then she latches down here at the bottom. BCM relocated. Down here is all super clean. Uh, I need to figure out how I can relocate this little wire job right here, but I think I got an idea of that. Drop the battery box off and get it out of the way and then there won't be none of this shit down here. And I think that's, that's about all I'm going to do today. I need that fucking battery foam. Battery foam. Once you guys see, hold on. I'll show you what it looks like when it's off. Simple. Pre-bent uterus. 
hooks on, bolts in. I'm gonna put some fucking sticky foam back here and some bolts, and that's a wrap. So, yo, I'm back on the street rider right now, or the track rider as it may be now, which we've kind of been putting some shit together. We've been slacking on the filming, but uh, I got a new tool. We got a core plasma torch, plasma cutter, which I used to use these a lot like 10 years ago for like a good 10 or 15 years, but I haven't had one since I've been in business for Cruzy Originals has been in business. Couldn't afford one, just finally been able to buy one, so I haven't used one in like eight or 10 years. So I'm a little intimidated right now. I've also only got sunglasses. They are heat waves, so I should be fine. And I'm gonna try and cut out this framework. I'm gonna start making framework. This is either gonna go real good or real bad. I'm gonna have some test cutting to do and maybe like 15 times of trial and error. <laughs> I don't even know where to set this thing up or any of that shit. I'm just gonna start whacking. like a beaver chewed this off so I got a lot of sanding and grinding to do this is gonna take forever so I'm gonna speed up the process a little bit First bit of plasma cutting went terribly. <laughs> As you can see, the beaver has fucking chewed upon this one right here. But luckily, I overdrew this thing, so it's quite a bit bigger. So I'm gonna lay it on here, trace it out, and then cut all that fucking beaver teeth off there. Looks like a custom headlight mount on a wide glide. Did that myself. What do you think, brother? I fucking want to know how you fucking got the two-stroke gas in that beaver to cut that motherfucker. That's what I want to know, brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, perfect. He's actually talking about getting a seat. Yeah, he's been wanting one for a while, huh? Beyond two. Function hell killed them both. Yeah, I got nothing hot enough to fucking. enough to work it. All right, so I got this guy mostly done. It's gonna bolt up like this is the main idea. Bolt through here, bolt through here, bolt through here. And then we're gonna build another piece that's gonna go across here, bolt here, here, and down here, and down here. And this will weld to that. And then I'm gonna run a piece of one inch round stock with a hoop through here. So one piece down. One in a million, baby, yeah. pieces are cut I got them clamped together and lined up so I can make this shit all exactly even as the other one I'm gonna grind them all to the sameness and yeah so I'm just gonna grind until I got smooth lines on both these just so they match I mean nobody's gonna even be able to see side to side but why not make them perfect you heard Got a brand new disc. It's good for doing flat straight spots. I'm gonna get up in this curve right now. You 
drilling through some steel like this, I like put a piece of wood underneath there just so I can punch through good and hard. You always start out small, pilot hole, go up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. You don't want to just try and drill a half inch hole all at once, it'll take four days and ten drill bits. Holy shit, she fucking lines up. Tired of this little man, guys, huh? Yo, so I got the first pieces done. I'm almost a whole day into this right now, but these are the basic part of the subframe right here. Next, I'm gonna have to notch these in. I'm gonna build a plate that's gonna bolt here and run across this and bolt. Be like an angle that'll bolt down here as well and then these will weld to it then back here we're going to do a hoop to gusset this just to get rid of the flex and then i'm going to build standoffs down here with gussets for the shocks on both sides so this will give us about three more inches of height in the rear so it's gonna be like around like a 17 or 18 inch rear shock and it's going to ridge it up the back of this a whole bunch so i'm just going to keep plug plugging along at this point this is as far as i've made it it's three o'clock i started at 8 30. Probably got a whole nother day or two into making this fucking ass right here. But we gotta get the SNS 124 kit put in it. Get the front end all set up. Get the Brembo set up. All that drive. Keep watching. Mm -hmm. Still wins. Four wins. Falcons at your breast. But what is best in life? The kids don't even know. They got no respect I, for I the barbarian so culture a these days. <laughs> See them driven before you and hear the lamentation of their women. I got I got about 75%. Yeah, you did, that's pretty good. <laughs> My goddamn leggings won't stay up for shit.